And a lot of people out there are thinking, hypnosis, does that mean that I'm going to be sitting in a chair and this guy's going to take like a watch and like put it in front of my face and go up to like, look at the watch? No, I, that's not how it is. Like, could you no. tell us that exactly what the self-hypnosis is and how does it work? Yeah. What, you know, it's funny about hypnosis is that people have been doing it for hundreds or thousands of years and we didn't really know that much about it. And so for a long time, it was kind of thrown into the same category as ghosts and um, other things we can't explain. But now we have this wonderful thing called an MRI machine. And so we can put people who are in that brainwave state, that hypnotic state, into the MRI machine and see that it's certain parts of the brain are basically dialing down in terms of their activity. And it's kind of like you get out of your own way. And when you get out of your own way, then you have space to imagine yourself succeeding at something. You have space to believe that you could drop an old thought that's not serving you. You have space to be able to say, wait, yeah, I have a lot on my plate, but I'm smart and I can figure out what's important and what I need to do versus what I can hire someone else to take care of for me. And that is essential, I think. I think it's an essential tool for all of us. 